Hey, mambo vipi guys? I hope you're fresh. Naitwa Kian, karibu kwa FXB University channel. So, uh, last time tulifanya some of the uh, analysis ya yeah, OutCHF and USCHF. So, tutaona some of the recaps kwenye hii video ya zile pairs ambazo tulifanyia analysis, lakini pia nitakuwa ni share his pairs ambazo nifanyia uh, some of my entries ambao one of them ilikuwa ni Audi card kuna USD card pia kuna Audi CHF ya hizi pesa ambazo nimezifanyia analysis and nimefanya entries so tutaona pia um, uh, fundamentals zile ambazo zimekuwa the list Federal Open Market Committee tumeona US almost kama wame lies interest rates uh, ya kutokana na inflation and everything what's going going on right now almost to me upload zero point intelacy rising 0.25 percentage point ambayo imesababisha almost kama stock market uh, imeendelea ku spike up unaweza kuona hii hapa ni US stock market ambayo US 30 utaangalia pia na nasa kanda do almost zime zime spike up Okay some of the cryptocurrencies pia kwa watu ambao mnapenda crypto almost bitcoin is line out tunaona ina tap around uh, 41k just from 36k last time ambayo ilikuwa pondo high i mean lowest tap ambayo tuliona so line now in a tap around there lakini pia tutaona and what what's going on kwenye oil prices as just from twitter ambayo nimeona a uh, president Biden ambao um, amesema oil prices almost increasing gas price should um, oil prices are decreasing gas prices should too so ni just like kuangalia how is commodities navo zipo kwa zina increase in price due to uh, Russia and Ukraine's war so almost the prices likuwa zina zinaenda up kwa sababu uh, Russia ni meja exporter wa mafuta so almost ilichukua ni tokea hii anapigwa sanctions kuhusiana na what's going on and then price zilikuwa zinaenda high sana so hizi ndo some of the fundamentals ambazo zilikuwa zinaendelea by the member hapa nitaanza kuangalia like pairs ambazo tulifanyia nice last time ambao ni mbili au CHF na USCHF nitakuonyesha vile ambao nimefanya entries and at the end of the video pia nitakuonyesha analysis ya gold so tutaona how gold vile na hii na yona and how vile ambavyo unaweza kutake advantage maybe in the future so pia naweza kuona DXY vile ambavyo nitakuepo na yona DXY na represent uh, strength ya US dollar so ukijua how US dollar strength yake inakuwa vipi na kusaidia kujua some of the pairs ambazo zinampea UST hapa na maanisha major currency pairs vile ambazo zitakuwa zina breakout okay so tutaona some of the pairs ambazo zina pair UST and how they would be praying so you're welcome let's dive in So nitaanza na last 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 pair ambayo tulifanya ambayo nilifanya analysis guys ilikuwa ni uh, ilikuwa ni out chf so out chf ilikuwa ni almost tulikuwa around he ambao naweza kuona nilifanya entries around here ambapo last time wakati nafanya analysis i told you kwamba tulikuwa na his uh, tab around he is kama resistance level and all way as i ambo general kwenye haya market structure tulikuwa tunaona kwamba tupo kwenye bullish and nikaonyesha like tuko na hii trend line ambayo ndio ilikuwa inatuonyesha kwamba tupo kwenye hii kama correction then tupate the other impulse so all you needed ni kwamba kuangalia actual confirmations ambazo zita align na we entry yako ufanye your entries. So right now he been me capital is estimated BC 100 115 estimated 100 to nseme. Lakini I still see more pushed all the way up maybe mpaka around 
this level kwa sababu last time wakati tuna na, tunafanya entries ilikuwa ipo around here so some of you i know kama mliteka advantage ku kwenye hizi positions za kusell which means ent- existing point ilikuwa ni around here ambao ndio ilikuwa kwenye support so which means watu ambao wana trade is what trend lines waliona uh, kwamba tuna hii level ambayo ilikuwa ni strong pia watu wa demand and supply na order blocks waliona kwamba tupo kwenye hii level ambayo inaita market imbalance that's why tukapata impulse and then correction so which means kama uli miss entries around there ulipata pia entries around here ambapo kupata this such entry itakia utumie fibo na chi so i know some of you mtakuwa mnazitumia hizi uh, tools ambazo well, most most of us sio traders wote ambao wanatumia wanatumia hizi fibonacci ama trading tools but zinasaidia kujua like when market ita turn so for example like this ilikuwa uh, first point second point ambao ipo around here so pia hii ilikuwa ni kama entry yako around here hapa ambapo tipo, tipo kwenye 50 na 60%. So, remember like I said last time kwamba always market haipo straight forward. Haipo straight line like this. It always have one uh, correction and pass and then to the other correction. Na hii same price ndio hicho kifani. So, ulichotakia kuangalia ni is reversal patterns ambazo zimetokea around here kama liquidation ambayo pia tulikuwa kwenye hii level ambayo ipo strong so hii hapa ndo mimi nilifanyia entries and all way down kwa sababu sikupata nilikuwa naangalia and i expected this nilifanya entries around here and then card more entries around here kwa maana tutegemea ya kupata the other spike move up so hii hapa ilikuwa ni out c h f lakini pia nyingine ilikuwa ni UST CHF so UST CHF so UST CHF tulikuwa na hii move last time i think kama ujaangalia uh, ile video ambayo nilituma ilikuwa ni Omandi i said kwamba hizi ni setup ambazo hutaki kuzikosa so nilikuwa na tuko na hii upside push ambao watu wa trend line wanapenda ku connect at first point second point and then is a point ambayo zitakuwa zina react kwenye hizi TL wanaziona ni kama support so they enter more entries lakini all about order blocks and demand and supply hapa waliona kama tuna market imbalance ambao pia ilikuwa ni kama entry yao so this is a reason why ni ka take entries around there and the other one tukapata was uh, push kubwa around there mpaka kwenye hii level ambayo ilikuwa ni hawa tap so right now naweza nikategemea kwamba kwa sababu tumepata hii liquidation kubwa kidogo lakini pia tutaona baadaye kwenye DXY kwamba almost naona kama DXY inaonesha UST kuwa somehow ikafanya correction all the way down kwa sababu tumeona ina inafanya spikes up which means UST ilikuwa ina gain strength so all you needed ilikuwa ni kuangalia hii entry around here kwa kuangalia in terms of what like market um, confirmation yako ambo one of the confirmations ambazo niliona ilikuwa ni hii kwa mfano hapa to break a market structure like here the moment to to kona na impulse lazima tupate correction so hii level ilikuwa ni ku break a structure so the moment we go break a structure and then a up pa market tunaweza kuona ilirudi tena ku tap around here so pia watu ambao wana trade demand and supply order blocks waliona kwamba hapa kuna market imbalance and then tupate hii push all the way down and then tufanye entry so this was my entry around it here lakini kwa sababu ni kwa nataka nifanye swing then i entered uh, the other trade kwenye origin trade so i was like uh, ni kwa nafanya uh, tunaita ni hedging in hedging in do ile method ya mboi na ku nafanya kwamba ukaona first trend then you can add more trade ili kuendelea ku capitalize trend so this was for out uh, for us chef but what do i see right now what do i see in terms of for four hours not even four hours like in generally still naona kwamba ipe inaweza tukapata uh, spikes that down kwa sababu tayari tushat up around here lakini baadaye pia nitakuonyesha kwenye dxy vile ambapo tunaiona strength ya ya US dollar. So hapa kuna possibility 
ya she market ku kufanya simple correction simple correction maybe mpaka um, around hey so this is how i see a uh, us sachem then baadaye tupate push up kwa sababu ni all time alright and the other bay ilikuwa ni usd card lakini hii bay ilikuwa ni kind smart kwa sababu uh, all the way kutukianzia kwenye high time frame let's say uh, one day ilikuwa inaonekana exactly kwamba hey this was upside push kwa tombo anatumia hizi mambo they also saw it kwamba tupo kwenye hii uh, push kubwa ambayo tulikuwa tuna tab easy uh, tl so all i wanted ni kwamba kwenye lower time frame hapa niliona like tulikuwa na invest head and shoulder and then nikategemea tupate the other spike uh, move ya up mpaka around there and then tupate the other one kwa sababu hapo tulikuwa hapo na high kubwa ambayo almost market ilikuwa ijaweza ku, ku break and so all i wanted ni ku capitalize e the, the overall trend kwa sababu ni remiss uh it up around there ambo watu wa fibo uh watu ambao na trade three trend lines wali waliona ma trend so niliona his structure like tulikuwa na he kama invest head and shoulder so my entry is based around there kwa sababu niliona pia watu ambao na trade these order blocks and demanded supply waliona hii kitu kwamba tulikuwa na hii market imbalance and then tukapata his spark push all way up lakini kwa sababu ya Yeah, here's the market movement. Niliona tena the other opportunity ambo talikuwa shut up around hiyo kwenye hiyo high. Remember last time nilivyokuambia kwamba always tuna buy low, tuna sell high. So, ukiwa kwenye high ambapo tupo kwenye resistance which means tunapata hii move. So, I, I nilitegemea hii move kwa sababu tayari kwa tushapata is kama liquidation or kind kama rejections market rejection tukapata is spike move but ni kwa tali cha capitalize hiyo then i just waited for the other entry ambayo ilikuwa around here tukapata kind kama double top so some of you uh, maybe kama uliweza ku trade this market but i will see kwamba usd card so long as kwamba usd anaendelea kuwa weak i see more push and trade around this level here yeah. so na expect ep kuendelea ku drop generally mpaka around this level but for me talking share capital this the whole trend so i uh, it was risk free and i wanna hold it in trend down so is up and some of the pairs and bazoni mezi trade this this midweek ambo ilikuwa ni kind of crazy kwa sababu ya federal market open market committee but nataka ni kuonyesha some of the pairs and bazoni as expect and one of them ni DXY tuanzie na DXY ile ujue strength ya USD inakuwa vipi so DXY like I said DXY so DXY ama dollar index ndo uh, representation ya 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 strength ama weakness ya US dollar so ukiona US dollar ina ina rose strength which means utaona DXY itakuepo ina sell sana which means dollar ipo weak lakini ukiona DXY ina buy sana which means dollar index i mean US dollar is uh, is gaining strength manake thamani yake inapanda sana so when you toy his uh, structure tutanzia tu tufanye top down analysis ya ip, ya dollar index ili uone how vile ambavyo itakuepo ina react so like i said tukiona anza kufanya analysis always Uh, I prefer one one week okay so one week na prefer kwa sababu naweza nikaona vile ambapo market ipo lakini like let me see a month would, would prefer a month ili tuone like month ili kando vile ambapo ita cross oh this is dxy or what dxy yeah this is dollar index na Let me check it out. Yeah, this is dollar index. So, DXY ama dollar index tulikuwa na he move ambo right now tuko na haya bwana. Tumeona tulikuwa na his swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high which means ina represent kwamba tulikuwa kwenye hii strong push ya yeah, up ambo tayari tuko na hii high ambo hatujabatika ku break and hatujabatika ku kuifikia kwa sababu tuko kwenye hii 
uh, is strong push up so kwa sababu tulikuwa na hii consolidation around here so na expect kwamba tukiingia kwenye lower time frame tutakuwa tunaona like uh, pullbacks 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 maybe around around this level ili tufikie all time high reason behind kwa sababu hii market imekuwa ikitengeneza is confirm hii ilikuwa ni break of structure kulikuwa na hizi market imbalances and then market managed to to break and then it una hii strong push na zukaona kuna hizi market imbalance and then market katap tena around here so the other one ni right now e push ambayo tuko nayo lakini where where did this start ni around there so kuna actual uh, uh, confirmation kwamba tukia kwenye one week so let's see kwenye one week and see how market vile ilikuepo ina behave so here we are so kwenye hata time frame ambayo ni kwenye week utaona lag tuna hii strong 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 push ambayo ni kama impasse kwa sababu imekuwa ikitengeneza hizi swing high swing low which is the actual market structure ambayo ilikuwa ni swing low swing swing high is swing low swing high swing low swing high swing low until all the way up now what do we say kwa sababu right now ni almost market inataka i close na hii kama actual device of candle ni zukaona like tumepata hiyo all time high around the I, i mean a new high this is a new high guys now where will the new row be formed it is a formed around here kwa sababu hapo kukopa na hii strong push down so kuna possibility ya hii market kuja kutab around here so maana kile tunaweza tukaendea kuona um, in a couple of days tunaweza kuona UST in a rosy strength but the overall is uptrend okay so that's the only reason why tunaweza tukaona UST card na fall na some of the pairs ambazo zinampea UST lakini remember fundamental perspective vile ambavyo UST line out tunaiona inabidi tu to like we may realize interest rates around there so some of the commodities tutaona zina increase uh, zina buy sana which means pe- people are hedging against inflation so you know this kind of stuff guys so kwenye daily let's see how vile ipo now this is daily unaweza kuona like tali tuko na hii high first year high ambapo tali market tumepata a strong push down lakini hii push imeshindwa ku break this so which means tuna hizo iko highs ambazo tali tushashindwa ku break now what do we expect we expect kwamba hii high ambayo tuko nayo ndo tupate actual pullback mpaka round way mpaka round here ambapo ile pombo tumeiona so so long as kwamba hii yote ilikuepo ni push let's see pia watu wa fibo watu ambao tukopo naona so remember watu wa fibo naji wanaangalia between 15 and 60% so first point second point around there so you'll see like uh, actual points ambazo wanaziona ni kwenye 60% ambao pia ina rain na our fib so around here so would expect uh ep could up around this level okay so i would see like a uh, dollar index in a top around there ili tuendele na overall structure but remember kwa sababu ni up ni down ni uptrend inabidi to see ignore how vile market structure it was so this is all about the dollar index now let's see about gold gold itself so usd yeah so this is gold guys and gold to end here kwenye month to see how vile ipo yeah so kwenye month hii unaweza kuona to lead up uh, in region kwa sababu ya hizi kelele za russia and and russia ukraine uh, people were hedging against the uh, inflation ambayo pia inaendelea na all this about the war so remember most of the time kwa sababu ya inflation watu wanakuwa na hedge kwa his commodities like ndio maana tulipata his spike push kubwa all the way up na and right now kuna hii unaweza kaona tuliko kuna hii kama kind kama rejection about that to lead up almost the monthly level now for us to hedge against this like where market will tap so tukaendelea kuona uh, uh, push ya yeah, down mpaka around where 
now around here about what were oil blows and my demand supply they will see this uh the what are the demand around there so we'll see market uh usd i mean uh the the what gold tapping around this level the gold tapping around this level reason behind it was about being easy actual uh position and was quite injected around here okay so now why should do we dive when you know what i feel like to angalia how villa market will go so let's see when you a day you can see now when you daily uh e level about konayo line up and there's any guy minimize like around there i'm born to come on actual revo i'm born as any corner like before kutana round and then in a bit to drop around there so remember like you never gonna find you if you in a bit what there's let some of your confirmation you keep on a funny analysis like how will the market in a behave and all the kind of stuff okay so because i'm able to leave funka now he kind of formation i'm born need like i don't know if it's twizzle top or in graphing but it's in common twizzle top okay so i'm about to look what kwa hiyo revo now kwa sababu sahi tume tap around a ambone zuka wana hii yote ndo ilikuwa inabeba the wall structure so which means market it tap around here and then to tap at a simple 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 pullback i don't know where ambapo ta tutaona vile viko ni lower time frame ili tupate hiki and then the offer we should not ignore the actual structure of gold kwa sababu gold is still in a bullish a bullish market structure so that's the only thing about who the key we could violate if the market is in the uh a, the new one the uptrend then keep with that with that more than really we see the label quick no the actual market structure so this one the daily now let's see 24 hours and see will the market uh, react now this is uh, four hours <laughs> So when you four hours out and wanna trade these structures, you can see a lot of us we saw this head and shoulder. I don't know if you guys can see this like in here, head and shoulder. You okay, can see this. And we'll go on a camera structure. Actually, it took alignment combo uh, in head and shoulder, which means a lot of traders will go on and get a break of this this and a retest and then want to end the lane. It's going to take a break of PPC Mianane. And but for me kwa sababu ya issue ya ambayo inaendelea I was not able to trade gold and I just stayed away about it kwa sababu nilikuwa na nashindwa ku ku relate na fundamentals so ilikuwa ni all about technical so nikasema okay let me not hedge against the what uh, against this pain and then I stayed out, uh, out about it now for 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 it kwa sababu to share on like a reverse and was an ability to tap in around here so like in its side to book why why he level right now now what what should we expect now what should we expect because we will level is strong as a corner because when a market imbalance a cardiac time then you can push now where market is started in a way to just kind of young idea where this push is started and is it around there i don't know will number of people so to never to cover that he a strong push maybe in paka around here before setting up this downfall now for you to take advantage about this make sure unakuwa unaangalia a reversal candle like zile pesa ambazo tulizifanyia na rsc ambayo ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni out 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 chef na usc the uh, USC chef so make sure the moment to kita kufanya entries unaangalia some of the confirmations so for example me na actual confirmation ni kama around uh, 60 confirmations that was nasiangalia before kuingia trend so ili uwe na confidence like okay how this market may play out unaweza kuangalia hizo confirmations zako wewe ambazo wewe unaziangalia and then ufanye entry so for gold actual kwa sababu ya yeah interest rates could rise i don't know vile ambavyo vita pray out lakini technical mimi ndo naiona hivyo kwamba tayari tupo hapa and then tutapata a actual a simple retracement ili tuendelee na move ya down back around here kwa sababu kwenye hata time frame ndo hichi kitu tumekiona so i hope is based on some analysis you can still 
pray with them lakini kwa wapenzi wa wa what wa <laughs> cryptocurrencies we almost tapping uh, 40k right now and i don't know kwa sababu ni ya uh, interest rates lakini always investors wanna hedge uh, bitcoin against the inflation so i think it's what's happening right now so guys uh, make sure kama uja ni follow up kwenye instagram do follow me kwa sababu most of time wana to updates uh, kusiana na market analysis and zile pia za mbazo na kuwa nasifanya nasifanya entries so do follow me pia follow actual page ya yeah, fxb university and make sure nime kuachia kwenye room kwa discussion kusiana na website the moment you run you itakuwa uh, utakuwa invited kwenye actual ranch ili upate just a simple uh, simple incentives guys so thank you for watching and stay tuned and we are